Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to show you how to make the tenderest chicken you've ever had. Yes, of course it's sous vide. So before I start, I want to do a big shout out to one of my loyal viewers, Lad Gamer HD. Yay! Lad Gamer HD has been watching my videos for quite a long time and he frequently makes very positive and helpful and nice comments. I like him a lot. Thank you. So chicken can be a bit of a problem because using conventional cooking methods, uh, it's nearly always dry and stringy. It's very hard to get a perfectly juicy chicken breast. And it's not helped by government health authorities saying that it must be cooked to a certain temperature because that temperature guarantees that, well, it kills the bugs. It also dries out the chicken. But with sous vide, you can still kill the bugs by cooking to a lower temperature, but for a longer time. It has exactly the same effect. So it's perfectly safe and, oh, it's amazing. I'm also gonna show you how to make a, a nice little sorrel sauce to go with it. So let's do it. Okay, before you start, you want to preheat your water bath to 66 degrees Celsius. Um, some recipes say, well, as low as 60. I've done that, but it does turn out a bit pinker than I actually like it. So 66 is the, the target. So I've got a couple of chicken breasts with the skin on and some salt and some pepper. So we'll just season them liberally. For some recipes, you, you can also put aromatics you know I could actually put the sorrel leaf in with those but uh, I think it's for this particular herb it's it's very strong and um, it might be overpowering so I'm not going to do that so now I need to pop these in a ziploc bag vacuum pouch if you use that method but the cheapskate method works perfectly well so that's what I'm doing and then we'll pop this in the water bath. And it's an odd thing about the Anova Precision Cooker, TM, is that uh, it always beeps, beeps to say it's ready at about 0.2 of a degree below the temperature you've set. Ho-hum, don't know. Anyway, it still works. So we'll pop the chicken back in and make sure the air's getting pushed out and zip it closed and I'm going to leave there in and I'm going to leave it in there for an hour and a half some recipes say an hour but you know I've got other things to do uh, an hour and a half will be fine so the chicken is nearly ready well it is ready but <laughs> you know it can it can stay ready for a few hours in the sous vide machine no problem um, so I've got the ingredients for the sauce. I've got some chicken stock, homemade and wibbly wobbly. Some double cream, heavy cream, uh, big knob of butter and some flour and a couple of sorrel leaves from our garden. Now you might struggle, in fact you will struggle to find sorrel on sale in a, a supermarket or shop unless it's highly specialized. This, we grow this in our garden and it's very hardy, very easy to grow and um, it's very tasty. It has very strong kind of citrusy flavour that goes very well with fish and chicken. So before we start making the sauce we need to chop the sorrel into teeny weeny bits and the easiest way to do this is roll them up like a cigar and then just cut them and then cut them again the other way. And voila, tiny bits of sorrel. Now to make the sauce, which is gonna be a you know your basic classic white sauce, we melt the butter over medium heat, and then we stir in some flour to make a roux. And when that's nicely mixed up, mixed together, we add the stock. And we can also pop the sorrel in. Stir that together and let it cook for about five minutes. Okay, and then we'll add some cream. That much. 
and stir it in and have a taste. Whoa! Oh, mm, that is lovely. Right, so let's uh, finish off the chicken and then we can have our dinner. So here's the chicken looking totally unappetizing as sous vide stuff usually does. So we'll uh, take it out of the bag. And there's some juices there, I'll put those in the sauce. And now what we need to do is just sear it quite quickly in some very hot oil. Now this is going to get pretty smoky so you want to get your extractor on, windows and doors open and smoke alarms turned off if you can. Right, the oil is hot so let's slam in the chicken. You need to keep turning it, get all, all surfaces seared, don't forget the end. Okay, that's looking pretty good, so uh, let's serve it up. So there it is, the wonderful sous vide chicken and a lovely sauce to go with it. <laughs> right, here's my dinner. Oh, that looks good. Mm -mm. Told you, juiciest, tenderest chicken ever. Fantastic. And that's that, hope you enjoyed it. Now please share it with all your friends on social media. Subscribe to this channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and don't forget the amazing website that has all the details of all the recipes. And thank you for watching, come back soon.